Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is a heads up video for yay or nay, yes or no, on insurance with USPS. Uh, I will tell you this, if you have um, pirate ship or you have stamps.com, the insurance that goes through USPS is through those two companies, pirate ship or stamps.com. The postal service will pay you the $100 flat rate insurance, but anything above and beyond that you bought, you will have to get through stamps.com or pirate ship. Unless it was UPS and you bought it through stamps.com or pirate ship, then you go directly to UPS. Now, let's get to um, United States Postal Service. It's called Postal Explorer and it's called Domestic Mail Manual. I'm going to bring it up for you. I had a little, um, I had something that was um, a couple items that were lost and um, I'm fighting right now to get the monies back from it, but let's go to domestic mail. Let's go to the 600s right here and we're going to go down to filing and then this is called filing indemnity claims or loss or damage. So let's go down to excuse me, 4.1, and we're going to go down to G. Uh, for stamps and coins, philatelic or numismatic value, the fair market value is determined by the recognized stamp or coin dealer or current coin and stamp collector's newsletter and trade papers. The date of the fair market value determination must be current and prior to the mailing date. This is basically straight from the Postal Explorer under um, claims for lost or damage. So now let's get beyond this thing. Let me get it out of here. So what happened to me is I ended up insuring through um, stamps.com. USPS is going to cover the $100 that was included with the flat rate, but I have to go to stamps.com in order to um, get the monies back from lost packages or damaged packages. I first have to file a claim through USPS in order for it to be registered with stamps.com. My suggestion is go directly to the post office if you're going to insure something. Don't use a second, um, uh, don't use a middleman like stamps or pirate. Um, it's just going to create another problem. So basically, I'm to the point now to where I'm not going to fight anymore for these items. My channel lost uh, almost $3,500 in items, but some items showed up. And then partial wow. packs showed up also. Excuse the dogs. So I'm giving you a heads up. Yes, you can register. Um, but there's no need to register mail for insurance. My suggestion is flat rate. Uh, whatever the smallest box you can put flat rate and then insure it for whatever amount, but insure it directly through USPS. Don't insure it through pirate. Don't insure it through stamps because you're bringing a middleman in there and you're going to have to fire. You're going to have to um, fight two entities, which is UPS and then also your mailing service. So I'm hoping this can help you out. There was, um, uh, I was told by the post office that they weren't going to cover it because they don't cover numismatic or jewelry or silver or bullion. This was the lady behind the counter. And I'm all like, well, why did I buy insurance at all? She says insurance is a sham. And I said, okay, well, whatever. So I went and I did my due diligence and I found in the postal service breakdown of the payable claims that they do cover it. But since I bought it through stamps.com, postal service is only going to cover a hundred dollars of it. And then I have to find stamps.com for the rest. So my suggestion, just go to the post office, buy insurance. That way you can buy up to, I don't know, it's like $50,000 worth of insurance. Now I, I would appreciate it if you wouldn't take my information and use it um, as a way to prove your point down there. Make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure that you 
understand everything that you have done because all I'm trying to do is give you information so that you can understand what needs to go down when you go down to file a claim. And if you're using the secondary mailing service, then that's going to be a whole nother ball game. So I've changed the stuff that's going on with my channel that if the customer wants to buy insurance, they can buy insurance and I will insure it. But the Big Flip channel is not going to be liable for fighting the post office, for fighting any of that. So if they want insurance, I'm going to buy insurance directly from USPS or UPS. I'm not going to use my mailing service for insurance. That way, they can go directly to USPS. Otherwise, if I did it through my secondary mailing, uh, like stamps.com, I would have to be the one to fight because I'm the one with the account. So... Like I said, things have changed on my channel. If you want insurance, that's not a problem. I'll get it for you. You have to pay for it. But then I am not liable if the package is lost or stolen or broke into down the road. I'm offering that to you. I recently said that I needed to register all um, the packs that need to be insured. But that was a mistake. And my customers paid quite a bit of money for registered mail which was all right. Um, I ended up paying, I think, about another 10 So I charged like $19 to my customers. And there was four or five or six of them. And then um, I ended up going to the post office and I ended up having to pay like another 10 bucks on top of it. So all these little registered pieces right here, Though I charged them $19, this one was $28, this one was $32, this one was, and that's registered so that it lands in the door of the address. So it was pretty difficult to pull all this off. Another thing, if you're registering mail, all the edges of the mail have to be done in this string tape. It cannot be shiny. It's got to be just the the, the real dull surface because when you put it on the box with water um, it's going to stick but they need to put stamps on this every piece of, of paper tape they'll have to stamp it so I'm just giving you a heads up yeah you can do it registered yeah it's super secure that way yeah it's a way to do it but it's three times the postage and my suggestion is flat rate go to the post office, pay for insurance down there. You can print your label at home through stamps.com, but you have to go to the post office to get the insurance. And so that's one way to do it if you want to cut down. I mean, every little bit helps. And when a customer's paying an additional 10 bucks for insurance, and I can whittle away 10 bucks on a $30 pack, um, $30 of insurance, and postage, then I'll do that. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. It's just kind of a learning deal. Um, but make sure that you do your due diligence and you figure out exactly what's going on with postage. But that's what I figured out recently. I hope you like and subscribe. Um, do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get. I'll see you on the next one. And let's be good people. Please take care. Have a great day.